Hopefully that worked. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to try and do this in one shot, uh, minus the cooking time. So what we're making today is some vegan uh, wings, I guess. Uh, first thing you're going to want to open up the plantain. We're making it with plantain instead of cauliflower just because I think it's a little more interesting and that starch kind of, I don't know. It's nicer for me in my mouth belly. <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't have to make it. <laughs> um, so yeah, just kind of cut up the plantain into wing sized piece, winged sized pieces, maybe. Kind of like fries, I guess. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got all our pieces. So now those can go off to the side. What we have to do now is we have to make our batter. Now I've got some flour here. Uh, alternatively, you can use like pancake mix. Uh, that's always good. But for this recipe, we are just going to use straight up flour. Might be okay. Now we'll just go. A little bit more and we've got rice dream what we're gonna do is pour it into here and we'll start thickening up our batter so that we can start dumping the uh, the wing type things in there <clears throat> what you're gonna want to do too is you're gonna want to set your oven to Just above, pretty fucking hot, and just below, I'm gonna start burning things down. Or like 450 degrees for people that don't know <laughs> what really hot means. I guess it's not that hot for an oven. It's not like it's outrageous or anything. So we're just about getting the rest of this all kind of mixed up in here. Okay. I don't know if that's nearly enough, but I guess we're going to find out, hey? So what we're going to do is we're going to start dropping these in there. And we're going to let them kind of sit for a couple of minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll go fishing for them. Uh, once they kind of sink down <clears throat> and then once they are coated in all this yummy batter goodness um, we're gonna stick them on the pan oh that's well, well I guess we're gonna have one big one Basically the idea is uh, just kind of flip them around on each other until they're totally covered in the batter. And then you want to have parchment paper on a cookie sheet, something a little like that. And what you're going to want to do is grab each one of them and just place them right down on top. Okay, now those drop me nuts. I hate the feeling of batter on my fingers. Um, there's not a lot you can do to avoid it, unfortunately. I just don't like it, so every time I get the chance to not have it on there, I wash my hands. <laughs> okay. This one looks kind of gross. I'm gonna not do that one. Okay, now these ones all get the same treatment. Okay, 
Okay, we are done with that. We are done with that. I can put this lid back on here. Okay, so this is what that looks like. All right, put it over here until the oven is done being hot. And wash off my knife. there this can go back here right on top of all the shit that I messed okay so now we want to create the sauce okay so we've got just plain old chicken and rib sauce uh, the ingredients in here you can pause that there looking like vegan friendly which is what I was hoping for when I just threw it in my cart and didn't think twice to look at it like an idiot but what we're gonna go is we're gonna give a good heap of that <clears throat> I don't really use measurements when I cook. I just like a bunch or not a bunch or like lots. And what we're gonna do, this is just oil. Uh, you can use melted butter. Probably better to use melted butter. <laughs> So now we've got our sauce that's going to go all over these things, right? I mean, this is super simple and it seems like really daunting at first, but I can promise it's not. It's, it's just as easy as it kind of seems. All right, that is sauce. I'm just going to pull that to the side. And I'm going to cut up some of this. This is just onion. Uh, I'm just going to throw these on once it's all done. Hopefully they stick to them a little bit. It'll be kind of nice. That's lots. Okay. Okay. In those go for a little while. And then I'm gonna flip them. And once I pull them out to flip them, I'm gonna coat them in the sauce that we've made and then let them bake on the other side there and then pull them out and coat them again in the sauce. And that's it. So they haven't been in there all that long. I'll show you what they look like because I'm pulling them out. Make sure you use a hot or not, don't use a hot mitten, use a mitten to avoid the heat. So now we're gonna take our sauce that we made, and we're just gonna start brushing it on some of these here. Then, once we've done that, take a couple of our grabbers, and we just start flipping them. Got that. Gonna start brushing them again. Okay. Now back to the oven mitt. Get this open. And we wait. Okay, so <clears throat> it's been like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe at best um, that this has been in there. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to paint it one more time. Uh, 
And we'll get the plate. We'll just start piling it up on the plate. them well, that is it for me uh, I'm done so I'm gonna eat this uh, if you enjoyed this recipe leave a like uh, comment something if you have any tips tricks that you know that I do not um, like comment subscribe do all those things that make me feel appreciated and I can do more of this for you if you don't want me to do more of this for you also leave a comment down below so tell me that like hey I don't care about this um, that way I'm not putting out crap that nobody wants to see, right? Alright, see you guys next time.